Alright, so the wife wanted a cabinet incubator and I didn't want to spend five, six hundred dollars, so what we did here, I found this old side-by-side -side that had leaked all the cooling out for free on Facebook, so I went and picked up these two microcontrollers. This one here controls the temperature and then this one here is the humidity. I just cut a hole in the side of the fridge and ran those through. This side of the fridge, I got this heat lamp controlled by that microcontroller up there. So the temperature is below 99 degrees. The lamp comes on and starts heating up the air in this side of the fridge. There's a humidifier down there. I wired that outlet up to the humidity controller so power will get sent to the humidifier once the humidity drops below, I think it's 37 degrees for now. Um, it's just started up so the humidity's high because of the room, but we're gonna dry it out. Um, we cut two holes in the sidewall, one at the bottom, one at the top. That bottom one blows air in from the heat chamber and the humidity. The top one sucks the air back out, back into the heat chamber so we keep uh, air circulation through here. I took the old fridge cells and just wired up wire across them so they wouldn't block airflow. I got one egg turner in here now, but there's going to be another shelf added and two more turners so we'll be able to do about 150 eggs in here. Um, all the probes are hanging right here in the middle, the humidity, two temperature probes. I wired up an outlet for the egg turners and then an analog thermometer just to double check everything. Uh, we got a couple gallons of water down here just to soak up heat so it doesn't cool off as fast if the door gets opened. Um, for ventilation, what I did was take this old ice <clears throat> maker and drove a screw into it so I can push that screw in and out and that opens this door to pull air in and out. Plus, if you can see down here, there's a couple holes where the uh, compressor wiring and the ice maker tubing ran through, and that allows for some more ventilation. But, so we got 150 eggs. Uh, I think in price I got nine bucks for the heat lamp, thirty dollars for the humidifier, maybe uh, fifteen dollars in electrical parts. This temperature controller is 15 and I paid 25 for the humidity controller. So I got less than less than $100. And it seems to work fine. Um, we're going to run about 50 eggs through it in a week or so. And um, we'll see how it works.